Yo, what up, everybody? Happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Um, I don't really consider this a holiday. It's just a bunch of, uh, I don't know. It's a bunch of nonsense, but I am thankful for a lot of things. Let's see here. Whoever this is, Patreon. Alibi X at, oops, probably shouldn't. Yeah. Thank you. El Mastrito just edited their pledge from five. It doesn't matter. Thank you, brother. Thanks for donating at all. I appreciate that. And then this guy's name is uh, Efren. This dude just told me that my videos have the wrong thingamajigger there. So I went in and changed it. So thank you, Efren. Go give this guy a like or go to his channel. I don't know if he has a channel or what, but. Thanks, brother. Thank you to this guy right here for helping me figure that out. I learned so much from the viewers more than anything, man. So what's that have to do with 4th of July? I don't know. There's people that are going to be grilling out today. I went to the store. It was closed. I didn't even realize it was a holiday. Plan on playing pool just like I do all the time. And then there's another guy here. Carl, thank you. Who was it here? Luke, this guy sends me stuff all the time. This is what Luke looks like. That's him right there in the picture. Right there. There's Luke. Thank you, Luke. That's the only picture. That's a nice picture, though. Oh, and he has three friends. Sweet. He must be in hiding. But anyway, he sent me this, and I thought that it makes a lot of sense. Why does the country that celebrates freedom the most, today's 4th of July, have the highest rate in the world? That's sad. It's sad. A lot of stuff. I can't even hear it all, man. Oh, this one's good. Uh, Rick Renewson, uh, uh, a station called Veterans Against Police Abuse, and our goal is to develop huh? technologies and software to allow... Veterans Against Police Abuse people uh, to more easily network and secure evidence so that they can guard themselves against any unscrupulous law enforcement that might be out there. Okay, this is kind of the test bed for the VAPA. It's my own personal vehicle. Um, after an unlawful arrest that I had um, where I did not record and my iPhone sat there unused by my side, um, I decided, okay, it's time to start recording. Various technologies on here. This is an armored bulletproof Mitsubishi Eclipse. Um, Spectra Shield fabric inside. Um, bulletproof glass, armored by Texas Armory Corporation in San Antonio. It's a great company to work with. Very, very creative and good people. My name is Trent Kimball, President and CEO of Texas Armory Corporation. Today I will redefine what it means to stand behind my product. My name is Lawrence Costa. This is my AK-47, and today I get to shoot my boss. great about this is it has multiple cam i want this i don't want this mitsubishi but i would love to have my car armored up like this guy has it cameras in it so there's a, a wide angle camera in the front the back and under both side view mirrors for basically 360 degree coverage they work at night um and they also have each one of these has a mic and it's separate so four independent audio and video channels all the way around goes back to a protect all dvr with a 500 gig hard drive um, this is sold by uh, Protect All Securities. It takes all eight channels of video in this car and eight. This is hilarious. And then the and then the mirror has uh, its own independent uh, thing, and I believe it has a smoke screen, and it uploads it to the cloud. Here's another guy's name is Gavin Syme. Uh, he sent me this. This flag is a gang symbol. IRS. This is great. This is great, actually, because let's see if I can get this picture to come up. So I've been studying IRS code for since I was 17 years old, so over 20 years. What a great illustration. So the tax code, there's nowhere in the Title 26, the Internal Revenue Code, Title 26, that says an American living and working within the United States 
has to pay tax labor. It's not in there. The IRS can't show it. No lawyer can find it. No CP law. It's not in there. What actually is in there, it says, it says voluntary compliance. So that's where this cartoon comes in, where they're holding a gun to your head saying, you must voluntarily comply. There is no law that says you have to pay a tax on your labor. That's 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 way... I, I've already done that so many times and confronted so many IRS agents and made so many calls about it that uh, I've already forgotten. I was saying this stuff when I was in college. I went to college. I was supposed to be working on a, on a, some school thing. And I ran across a book called The Federal Mafia by Erwin Schiff. And that catapulted me. I was already a, a freedom-loving teenager. And then that catapulted me into understanding what government really is and what they're all about. And this this picture it isn't just the IRS. It, it goes for government in general. All right, so 4th of July. Thanks, Luke. Thanks, uh, who's this guy again? Efren, thanks. Luke, Efren, Carl, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody who watches me. I appreciate it. Uh, be careful this Independence Day. Cops are out and forth. And sweet. Thanks for watching me. You're awesome.